Alright, so welcome back. Um, let's continue on over here. Just want to make some changes over here at about frame 10. I think um, our knee can go slightly higher, maybe not too high. Alright, and probably I want it to kind of like rotate a bit more here this way, and then I can push it up slightly. Alright, so I'll change some of these parameters over here. To make it more even, I guess. 13.1. Alright, so let's press S on that. As you can see when we play it back. Okay, we can get a uh, slightly better movement over there. So, what we're going to do next is uh, let's look over here and let me just check this one out as well. So, frame. 22 has to be the same as this guy was at frame 10 alright so let's just print screen this and let's go to our paint right so we have our numbers over here so what we can do is we want to copy these numbers to be the same here at frame 22 so the numbers are 0, 0 0.1, so it's 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.07, that's right, 13.1 uh, for this, so it's 13.1, and the rest is pretty much the same, so let me just press S to keyframe that, so we have it more consistent for both of them. Okay, so next thing is I probably want to work a little bit on the in-between. Alright, let's work on the left leg first. Alright, so we have frame 4, 13 and... 4 at 13 and 16 over here, which, which doesn't really have much for the legs. It's pretty much wanting to make sure that it's consistent as whatever we have for now. So if you look at frame 4, it's pretty much there. Right, so maybe what we want to do is at frame 1 here, maybe what I want to do is just want to push it back a bit more and rotate it up just slightly here. Because it needs to be as straight as we can get it to be. Right, um, perhaps I look from, from the side. Yeah, perhaps that would be better. Something like that. Alright, so... This would give me a bit more room to make four have that nice curve over here. So I know we're changing some stuff up, but at least um, we're going it as we see. So just now we went to create this one first, and then we saw that maybe it's not the ideal position. So we're going to adjust frame 1 and 25 again so that we can accommodate for frame 4, 13, and 16. Alright, so I'm just going to change some of these parameters to make it look a bit more neater. And this can be about 50.6. Alright, press S for that. And we can go to. We'll go perhaps go take a print screen of this first and I'll paste this here. So that I have my numbers again. And then I'll go to frame 25. Remember, they both have to be the same. So let's have a look. So it's minus 0 0.1. It is supposed to be about 0 0.09. Right, minus 0 0.38 and 50.6. Alright, change this to 38 and this to be 50.6. And I'll click S for that. Right, so we've changed this one and this one, they are now the same. First frame and 25th frame. Alright, so let's play that again. So it looks a little bit more smoother now. Now let's now go to frame 4 where we can start to accommodate this you can now look from the side as you can see this is frame 1 over here and then frame 4 is somewhere here probably what I want to do is push it a bit higher to get a nicer bend right and perhaps rotate it just a bit more and we'll change some of these parameters again so maybe this I'll stick this to 1.35 this can be 3.1 and this can just become a 6 Right, so I'll keyframe that free frame four. Right, so as you can see when it goes, 
it's a little bit better so we have a bit of um, I'll say a wiggle over here as it starts to come up here so what I can say is that frame 10 uh, perhaps we want to bring this guy a bit more higher right, so I'll bring this to about 3 and this to about 8 right I'll click S on that and let's go over here to frame 22 and change this to 8 and this is 0 0.13 so keep it consistent and press S Right, so right now we're doing the minor adjustments and tweaks just to make it look right all right so for now i'm just going to leave that um probably I, I won't really think about frame 13 so as much because it's pretty much consistent with what we have over here straight leg straight leg and frame 16 where right, it's almost the same but this is because it's going more downward so I will change that later on when we play around with this guy over here these settings over here alright so for now I'm, I'll be pretty much done with the leg um, in the next part we'll talk about moving some of the hips and belly joints over here to make the up and down contact so you can see this nice flow over here and then after that we'll start to animate things like the hands and a bit of the head before going to our graph editor to work on the curves all right so welcome back um, I'm gonna start to do our up and down contact for the body and the head all right so here we are at frame one and as you can see we want to have the character to wobble up and down a bit as it moves so let me just change it back to zero so let's just say that frame one and 25 are the same right so we'll keep this at s at frame one and S frame 25 let's go to frame 4 where it will go down so it goes contact which is the same and then it will go down so bring this down a bit to maybe minus 0 0.7 perhaps click S for that and then at frame 10 it will go up higher than 0 so I'll put this at about Eight. Right, click S for that and then we'll go down again at frame 16 right so we'll check at frame 0 it was at minus 0 0.7 so we're going to have the same for frame 16 so we'll go down to minus 0 0.7 I would say it's minus 0 0.07 actually right let's press S for that and then it goes back up at frame 22 so at frame 10 it was 0 0.8 so at frame 22 we want to keep it same 0 0.08 and then we'll click an S alright so if you look at from over here you can see that he, he's starting to move up and down up and down a bit so it looks a bit more convincing his walk cycle um, a bit more cartoonish but yeah it's a cartoon after all right so for the most part that's what we're going to do um, now what we can do next is just want to make sure that the passing pose things like frame 7 maybe I want to keep it uh, yeah I just want to make sure that it's a, a bit of a whole number over here so we have 7 and then we have 19 which is the same so we just want to make sure that that is consistent and frame 13 over here it should be contact so this should be at 0 and I'll just keyframe that as well Right, so let's play that again so it looks a bit more convincing that he's actually walking all right now what we'll do next is to start to do the animation for the hands the swings all right so welcome back this time we're going to start to animate the hands um, over here we don't have a reference of how the hands supposed to move but it's okay we can still use these guys as a reference we can just look at the leg so basically what we want to do is if the left leg is forward then the left hand should be at the back and if the right leg is backwards then the right hand should be at the front all right so pretty much what we have over here so first things first is let's bring this back to zero um i just went a bit too fast 
So I want to select this controller that I have over here, which is the right shoulder, and basically I want to rotate it to a consistent number to be minus 60. Right, let's see how that looks for now. And then because the left leg is already forward at the first frame, so therefore the left hand has to be at the back. Right? So let's bring this to about 42. Okay. Just bring the these guys inside just a bit, and then let's just give everybody here a consistent number. So this is thirty six, and let's just put this as minus sixty five. Then, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe this guy over here. All right. So let's look it from the side. Let's just work on this end for now. All right. So this guy is here's his frame kit, and then what we can do is. We can kind of like make this a bit more relaxed so i'm gonna put this at about minus 10 perhaps and he will be kit over here as well right now for this hand over here what i want to do is i want to have a delayed reaction so um, let's just assume that he has heavy hands over here so let's put this at about 55 and i'm gonna press s for that so the idea is that when he moves along over here uh, these guys will start to move first so we're going to start to rotate this followed by this so the the energy is going to come from here so this guy is going to start to move followed by the elbow and he will be the last to react and he will have a delayed reaction so that will make it look a bit more natural All right so let's continue on here so as frame 1 we can see that this end is over here so let's just copy what we have over here copy and let's go to frame 25 and paste it right because we want to make sure that they are the same right same goes for this frame over here so we'll copy this and paste it so you need to do for both of these controllers shoulder controller and also the elbow controller right frame 1 and 25 they are exactly the same so as we move on to about frame 13 you can see that they completely switch places all right so this guy is going to go forward this time all right so we will put it up to here and i'll change this to about minus 3.4 this can be about minus 44.5 and this can be minus 60.1 all right so S for that and then for the elbow I can kind of like move it up a bit to about minus 20 S and for the wrist okay I forgot to copy this as well so let's just copy this and bring it to frame 25 because remember it needs to be the same and let's go back to frame 13 and this time I'm gonna move him slightly higher to about minus 40 all right again he's gonna have a delayed reaction Right, so let's just play back what we have for now. Right, so that kind of looks like um, something quite believable. We might want to adjust this part because it's a bit too stiff. Right, but let's just see how it looks like without our curves. Perhaps you can see it a bit better. Right, so that's just one hand over there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the same thing for the other hand. 